Whether you're looking to make the switch to a natural deodorant or you've been using your same brand of antiperspirant for years, we all want to know, is it doing the job it should be? And is it safe? To find out, we partnered with Good Housekeeping to create a deodorant test lab right here in our studio. And we are investigating the natural, the stick, and the spray deodorants to see which are the best to conquer your three most pitiful problems, pardon the pun, <laughs> like body odor. You like my jokes? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Hey. It's still pitiful, the jokes, aren't they? And then there's sweat. You're all worried about sweat. That she knows. We'll find out a little more about you in a second. And finally, those dreaded white marks that always end up on your favorite black shirt. Aren't they terrible? Awful. Oh, let me see yours. Okay right now. You're okay right now, but time will tell. All right, joining <laughs> me now from Good Housekeeping Institute's Health and Beauty Lab is beauty director April Franzino. So, it's interesting. When you're looking for the best deodorants at Good Housekeeping, yeah. you must have a strategy. You guys are so organized. We do. We definitely do. So, we first start by looking at innovations in the market. So, there are all sorts of different forms of deodorants and antiperspirants coming out now. There are wipes. There are sprays. There are even lotions and creams um, and serum formulas inspired by skincare. So, we want to know whether those really work because it's exciting to see new technologies, but you know, you're not gonna wanna try something that's not gonna work for you. So we test every set variant on 25 to 30 women in their real life over two weeks. Um, they give us their evaluation on everything from odor protection to, to sweat protection, um, irritation on their skin, whether they transfer onto their clothes. So we really look at every attribute. Right, so you'll answer all of our big questions today. Yes. Coming up, we're gonna put some of these ideas to the test with the most popular natural deodorants, sick spray, antiperspirants, everything, all that's yes. getting tested today. Welcome right. to come on next to me. We're gonna, you. You're going to help me right. okay. a little bit. So here's, here's the deal. The mm -hmm. first issue is the BO test, yes. the body odor test. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've thought this through, but I suspect you have. When you're looking for a good deodorant, what does it have to do? Well, it has to keep me fresh all day. It has to last all day. You know, you don't want to be that person who, you know, other people inch away from when you're in close quarters, so. Yes. Yeah. We've all lived through that. Oh, right, yeah. So I built you a little <laughs> model here. Right, these mm -hmm. are two different armpits. You can see the levels of the skin in front. Mm -hmm. Pink skin, it's all you see when you look at it with your eyes. But microscopically, if you blow it up, there are all these little holes. And in these holes, you've got stuff coming out. It's sweat. It's supposed to be there. It doesn't naturally smell. In fact, it's sterile when it comes out. But things happen. So April, walk us through the difference yeah. between a deodorant and antiperspirant just to get us all on the same yeah. page. So there is a big difference. So a deodorant in and of itself contains ingredients like fragrance, um, essential oils that help mask the scent that's coming out. So, so it doesn't change the actual sweat. Right, you're only getting fragrance, basically like a perfume for your underarms from a deodorant alone. I like that now, concept of fragrance, that yeah. perfume. But it does yeah. cover it up and yeah. you can't tell it's yeah. there. Yeah, it's true. But you'll be wet still. You'll still have, you'll, you'll still be perspiring. Okay. So for antiperspirant on the other hand, what we're gonna show here is this tape is basically our, signifies antiperspirant for us. And what that does is it actually plugs your sweat duct. So you'll, you won't get the odor, it's the wetness coming through because it gets plugged by the antiperspirant. So as you see here. So, doesn't look as appealing. Yeah, it does not. It, but, no. But it's appealing when you don't have wet under eyes. <laughs> so that's sort of the idea. So, which is better at tackling the actual odor, the so, body odor? So, interestingly enough, antiperspirant, which so you're us usually see them in combination, so antiperspirant deodorant combinations, they're usually more effective at tackling body odor because they tackle it in a two pronged approach. So. They actually kill the bacteria that causes the odor. They neutralize that in addition to stopping the sweat from coming out of the pores like we're seeing here. So you'll get a longer lasting odor protection from an antiperspirant um, deodorant combo. But some folks don't like the antiperspirants. And there are all these natural deodorants yeah. that have come out because they're worried about aluminum. Yes. Have you heard these rumors at all? Absolutely. Okay. Can I just yes. say one thing now? I've studied this. We've had this battle in my household. There have been no studies to date that have confirmed any substantial adverse effects of aluminum that could contribute to problems. The one that was most feared was breast cancer. Yes. yes, I get it. It's not natural. I personally don't like to use antiperspirants. I'd rather just sweat it out. I figured it was, I just don't like the idea of it being clogged in there, but I don't think it's dangerous to do that. But these natural products, yeah. are they, are they, what, what do they use? What works for them? So they actually contain um, a mix of ingredients, um, usually natural oils like coconut, which you see here, baking soda, essential oils, and they all sort of work together to stop the odor. They form a little bit of a coating under your arms and that helps. But they're not all created equal, so we're gonna do a little sniff test here. <laughs> so so, if, if we, so you made a concoction of natural odor, you put it under real people's armpits, mm -hmm. theoretically, mm -hmm. right? So smell that, tell me what you smell. Look at her eyes, look at her eyes. Mm. 
It's okay. It yeah. um, smells very tropical, like coconut based. I think or... pina colada. Little, yeah. little, you put rum in this, wouldn't you? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, okay. This is very now good. Now sure. That's yeah. good. Now, smell this. Oh. Oh. Whoa. I can even smell oh. it. Oh. No. <laughs> that was. Oh. That um, smells like armpits mixed with gym socks mixed with <laughs> disappointment. This is yes. like ca <laughs> old cat pee. Yes. Cat pee. All right. Wow. So obviously this is this is really bad, and yes. this is actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between the two? So there's really no difference at all. The difference is in people's body chemistry and the ingredients sometimes in the products. So it's a lot of trial and error with natural deodorants. You should use it for a couple of weeks, see if you're getting the odor protection that you're looking for, and if not, you might have to switch to something Let else. Let me be clear, you, you could have the exact same product yes. making you smell wonderful, yes. but your smell smell terrible. Yes, and that's because your bacteria is just different in every single person, so. Yeah, there's a little gift from the show yep. to you. Thank yeah. you. All right. Next up. <laughs> This sweat test, Linda, who we met earlier, uber athlete, she's been working up a sweat in the treadmill. Now, outside of exercise, when do you feel like you need an antiperspirant? Um, probably like just the daily stress of life, you know, running around, doing errands, grocery shopping, the kids, multitasking, like everything. I sweat a lot. Yeah. All right, so Linda did a little experiment for us. Before the workout, she had two products applied. One under one armpit, just, just a, you know, you had a deodorant under one, an antiperspirant yes. under the other, and you put paper towels to see if it would work. I did. If there's a real difference. Yeah. Because some people think they sweat, they don't really sweat that much, other people more than they think. Are you ready to see how the products all stood up, guys? Yeah. All right, let's see the antiperspirant towel first. The antiperspirant, not the natural one. No, the antiperspirant, the one that will help keep you. Oh, here, you hold this. Yep. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. That's actually, it's a cocktail nap, because it's early in the day for that, but it's, it's nice. It's, it is dry. Okay, let me see the, this is the natural product, the deodorant. Uh, it's a little wetter, but not, not a huge difference. It's not tragically different. No, I, I don't feel that much different on either side. I, I feel sweaty, but not like massively sweating on one side or the other. So how does this work? Well, the antiperspirant, obviously, you showed us how it works better to yes. control sweat. Yeah. So yeah. over a full day and through a work, like a long workout, it should work better to control your sweat because it's actually plugging up your sweat glands um, and preventing the moisture from coming out. But it is important to use it correctly. So one tr trick that we always tell people to do is to apply it at night, which is something that people do not usually do. And that's because it absorbs overnight. And then in the morning, you'll get the protection for the full day. And it also will prevent any transfer on your clothes and staining that. You know, my wife tells me that I thought it was the dumbest advice ever. She was <laughs> right. She was right. Oh my goodness. Did you yeah. know that? No. <laughs> yeah. That's right. true. And yeah. you have another one other hack I thought. Yes. So another interesting thing to keep in mind when you're using deodorants in general is to actually exfoliate under your arms the same way as you would your body or your face. And that's because it helps the product work better over time. Gets rid of the gunk that can build up. I think that's brilliant. Why wouldn't yeah. you exfoliate a dirty part of your body, right? You do it sense. to your face, keep your face clean. It's we should good. start exfoliating all parts of our bodies, the, the hinterlands. Yeah, yeah. hey. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.